Hi guys, uh, so let's start, I just started idle, and let's do some basic fundamental issues in Python. Uh, first of all, you can use Python as a calc for instance. I can uh, write 1 plus 1, boop, or 56 uh, minus 3, or uh, 6 divided by 5, and so on. So this is one thing you can do with Python. Uh, another thing which you can do, you can output certain things to the screen, for instance print, oops, print uh, 32 times 3 and close now here you see I uh, with print I have to put in brackets opening bracket and close brackets because print in this case is a function it is a built-in function in Python there are uh, loads of other print uh, built-in functions that we will see in Python but we will also be building our own functions in Python, custom functions which we will be using. So if I just return, the output is then the result of what's hap what is inside there. So my inputs here in this case are this, these are my inputs, and my output is this. Right, now here's the first difference to version uh, 2. I am now in version 351. If I just uh, uh, reduce the size of that window, I have you can have both uh, Pythons running in parallel. I have as I have here, I've installed both versions. And um, the print uh, uh, function in, in, uh, in 2.7 is, is nearly, nearly the same, but not that much. Uh, but, but nearly, uh, let me just do here. So you see, works the same way however look at that oh yeah and if you want to if you want to print text it is uh, either e either you can use single quotes with numbers you don't need any quotes but with text you need quotes so that's one way of doing it or you use double quotes yeah works the same the same way here Okay, and double quotes work as well. Now, the only difference between version two and three, in version two, I can also get away without the brackets. I can use print without the brackets and it'll work. Whereas in version three, if I tried that, I will get an error. Okay, so that's one difference between version two and version three. In version two, um, you can use print without them brackets, with or without, up to you. In version three, not up to you, you have to use the brackets. Okay, so that's one, one thing you have to watch out for. Now, now these are some simple things we did now with Python. Let's take it a step further. Uh, what if I wanna build my own application? Well, any application uh, you build be it in Python or, or any other uh, programming language, you would always have input or inputs and output or outputs and something happening in here, whatever. Now, your application will have to convey your inputs in here. It will have to do something with those inputs and then it will have to, conver to convey or, or emit whatever it does out in there as outputs. Now, the way it does all that is through variables. Now, what are variables? A variable, you can imagine, you can, you can picture a variable as a container, small glass, let's say, and this glass or beaker contains an address to an object. Yeah, it has a small, um, note and on this note is some sort of address to an object let's say three okay uh, for those people who who've used excel it is similar to your cell addresses in excel i'm just going to open up excel so i've got here excel i've got like two objects three and two in this case both of them are numbers and if i type in here uh, equals uh, B2, that is my, uh, sorry, B1, that is my variable, and this, this variable is just basically an address to this object. This variable does not contain the value itself, 
this is here, the value is here, but this variable is just an address or a link to or a pointer to this object. The same way variables in Python work the same way. They are just they are just pointers or links to the objects. The, 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 the variables themselves do not contain those objects. So uh, basically, let me return to Python. So basically, if I write a is equal to three, in this case, a points to the object three, okay? And if I say b is equal to a, then b as well, like a, points to the object three. And the proof is, if I just type B, I would get the output of B, which is basically 3. Now, if I just change A to point to another object, let's say, hello. You see now here is one thing that differs in Python or, or makes Python different than other languages, let's say like C. Here, I started with A pointing to a number, three, and then I changed A to hello, now a text. In, in many languages, that's not possible. For instance, in C, if you, if you declare a, value, a, a variable in C, you would have to say, you know what, I have to, you have to fix the, 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 the type, so it has to be an integer or a, or a string or whatever, and you also have to fix the size of it, you know, how big it is, okay? That, and that you don't have to do in Python. Why? Because in Python, the variable itself does not contain the value, but it just points to that value. It's just, it's just an address to that value. That's why you can easily change it. And the proof is here. Look, A now points to a new address, basically the address of the object, hello. What does B point to? Well, some would say, well, obviously, hello, because B is equal to A, and A has changed in value to hello, so obviously B should point to hello. Well, no, B still has the old address, because let's go through the logic. A points to 3, B points also to 3. Okay, proof. Now, A has changed in address, but B still points to the old object. B does not point to A. B points to the object A used to point to, basically the three. And that hasn't changed. And if I press return, you will see B still points to three because B has no actual relationship with A. The only relationship B has with A is that it points to that same old object A used to point to way back then, which is the three. A, in the meantime, A has changed. A is now pointing to hello. B hasn't. That's why B still points to three. That's what you got to pay attention to in Python, especially when you're building complex uh, applications or functions, that you have these, these uh, this discrepancies here. And this is basically due to this fact that your variables, and that's a very important fact, your variables in Python do not contain the value or the, the content, but they only point to that content, just like in Excel, you know, they point to that content. They have that, that they link or they're a pointer to that content, nothing more. That's why once you change uh, 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 one variable to point to something else, it doesn't mean that any other variables like B in this case would also point to this new uh, uh, content. They won't. You see, that's a very important fact. And... Uh, we shall uh, dwell on this theme in the next video in a, in, in, with more complex uh, uh, applications.